Rio de Janeiro Antonio Carlos Jobim International Airport IATA, GIG, ICAO, SBGL, popularly known by its original name Galileo International Airport, is the main airport serving Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It is the country's second busiest international airport. It is named after Praia do Galileo Galleon Beach, located in front of the original passenger terminal the present passenger terminal of the Brazilian Air Force and where in 1663 the Galleon Padre Eterno was built, and since January 5, 1999 also after the Brazilian musician Antonio Carlos Jobim. Galileo Airport is explicitly mentioned in his composition Samba do Avial. It is the largest airport site in terms of area in Brazil. Since August 12, 2014 it has been operated by the concessionary Rio Galileo, a consortium formed by the Brazilian investor Odebrecht and Chani Airport Group, with a minority participation of the government-owned company Infraero, the previous operator. The new concessionary has been using the brand name Rio Galileo, Aeroporto Internacional Tom Jobim. Some of its facilities are shared with the Galileo Air Force Base of the Brazilian Air Force. History The history of the airport begins on May 10, 1923 when a school of naval aviation was established near Galileo Beach on Governator Island. On May 22, 1941 with the creation of the Brazilian Air Force Ministry, the school became the Galileo Air Force Base, a terminal and hangars were built and the runway extended. Those buildings still exist and Galileo Air Force Base is still active. When Brazil declared war against the Axis on August 22, 1942, the aerodrome began to be used intensely by the Allies for military operations related to the World War II. At the end of the war, Santos Dumont Airport was unable to handle the increased tonnage of aircraft flying on international routes and number of passengers. For this reason, international flights were gradually moved to the site of the Air Force Base. The services were however precarious and a decision was made to build a brand new passenger terminal, opposite to the Air Force Base, across the runway. On February 1, 1952 the new passenger terminal was opened and remained in use with enlargements until 1977. This terminal is used presently by passenger flights operated by the Brazilian Air Force. The cargo terminal is also located in the area and all cargo aircraft usually park at its adjoining apron. The whole complex is now informally known as the Old Galileo. By 1970 the airport was Brazil's major international and domestic air hub. In that year, its administration was taken over by Infraero, an agency then recently created by the Brazilian government. As proof of the airport's prestige, the Concorde made its scheduled maiden flight with Air France on January 21, 1976, flying from Paris Charles de Gaulle to Galileo via Dakar. Those twice weekly flights were discontinued in 1982. Furthermore, the 007 James Bond production Moonraker 1979 shows the Concorde touching down at Galileo. On June 6, 1967 in response to the growth of air traffic in Brazil, the Brazilian military government initiated studies concerning the renovation of the airport infrastructure in Brazil. As part of the conclusions of these studies, because of their location, strategic importance, and security issues, new passenger facilities would be constructed in the areas of Galileo Air Force Base in Rio de Janeiro and Sao Paulo Air Force Base in Sao Paulo. On January 20, 1977, when the airport was receiving all of Brazil's major international flights, this new terminal was opened and all scheduled passenger flights were transferred to the new building. This building is known today as Passenger Terminal 1. One of the features dating from this time is the sultry PA system announcements made by Iris Latiri, which were featured on national public radio. In 1985, the airport lost the title of the country's major international airport to Sao Paulo Guarulhos International Airport. At that time, a new runway allowing intercontinental flights with no weight restrictions was opened in Sao Paulo, and Brazilian and foreign airlines increasingly used Sao Paulo as a national and international hub. As a consequence, the number of transiting passengers dropped. Constant efforts were made by the government of the state of Rio de Janeiro to reverse the trend. As a result, after stagnating for years embittered by the loss of domestic flights to Santos Dumont Airport and international flights to Sao Paulo Guarulhos Airport, Galileo has, since late 2004 gradually recovered its importance in the national and international spheres with addition of flights and airlines. 
During the year 1991, Passenger Terminal 1 underwent its first major renovation in preparation for the United Nations Earth Summit held in 1992. Its annual capacity was increased to 7,5 million passengers per year. On July 20, 1999 Passenger Terminal 2 was opened. The airport has those two passenger terminals in elliptical format, each with 12 jetways and capable of handling 7,5 million passengers annually. On April 26, 2011 it was confirmed that in order to speed up much-needed renovation and upgrade works, private companies would be granted a concession to explore some Infraero airports among them, on a second phase, Galileo. The plan was confirmed on May 31, 2011 and it was added that Infraero would retain 49% of the shares of each privatized airport. On November 22, 2013 the Brazilian government had a bidding process to determine the airport's private operator from 2014 until 2039. The Group Aeroporto Rio de Janeiro formed by Grupo Odebrecht 60% and Chani Airport Group 40% paid 19 billion reals and won the competition. The contract was signed on April 2, 2014, one day after the closure of the Games of the 31st Olympiad Galileo handled an all-time record of passengers on a single day. It is estimated that on August 22, 2016, 85,000 passengers transited at the airport facilities. One of the two TAP maintenance and engineering centers in Brazil is located at Galileo International Airport. Developments On August 31, 2009, the previous operator, Infraero, unveiled a 819 million reals $431 million, 302 million euros investment plan to upgrade Galileo International Airport focusing on the preparations for the 2014 FIFA World Cup which was held in Brazil, Rio de Janeiro being one of the venue cities, and the 2016 Summer Olympics, which Rio de Janeiro would host. The investment was supposed to be distributed as follows. Renovation of Passenger Terminal 1. Completed, 2012. Completion and renovation of Passenger Terminal 2. Completed, June 2012. Construction of further parking. Value 220.0 million. Completed, late 2013. The new concessionary Rio Galileo has revised, modified, and upgraded those plans to include the construction of a new pier with 26 new bridges, a new apron for 97 aircraft, and 2,640 car parking spaces have been added in 2016 17, which would sum up to 2 billion reals REAIS. <laughs> Airlines and destinations Since November 2016, the check-in and baggage claim areas of Terminal 1 are not in use. All passengers must use Terminal 2 to access the boarding gates of any terminal. Cargo Statistics Accidents and incidents July 27, 1952, a Pan Am Boeing 377 Stratocruiser 10-26 registration N1030V operating flight 201 en route from Rio de Janeiro Galileo to Buenos Aires Azaza following pressurization problems during climb, a door blew open, a passenger was blown out and the cabin considerably damaged. One passenger died. January 11, 1959, a Lufthansa Lockheed L1049G Super Constellation Registration D ALEC Operating Flight 502 flying from Hamburg to Rio de Janeiro Galileo via Frankfurt, Paris Orly and Dakar crashed during approach under heavy rain at Galileo. The crew descended below minimums. Of the 39 passengers and crew aboard, three survived. This was the first accident of Lufthansa after it was re-established. December 22, 1959, a VASP Vickers Viscount 827 registration PPSRG while on approach to land at Rio de Janeiro Galileo was involved in a mid-air collision with the Brazilian Air Force Fokker S-11 registration FAB 0742 in the vicinity of Manguinos Airport. 
All 32 people on board the Viscount were killed, as were a further 10 on the ground. The T-21 pilot parachuted to safety. This accident eventually led to the closure of Manguinos Airport. August 20, 1962, a Panair do Brasil Douglas DC-833 registration PPPDT taking off from Rio de Janeiro Galeão to Lisbon overran the runway into the ocean during an aborted operation. Of the 120 passengers and crew aboard 14 died. January 1, 1970, a Cruzeiro do Sul Sud Aviation SE-210 Caravelle VR en route from Montevideo to Rio de Janeiro Galeão with 33 occupants aboard was hijacked by six persons who demanded to be flown to Cuba. The flight was diverted to Lima, Panama City and arrived in Havana two days later. There were no victims. July 1, 1970, a Cruzeiro do Sul Sud Aviation SE-210 Caravelle VR registration PPPDX en route from Rio de Janeiro Galeão to São Paulo with 31 occupants aboard was hijacked by four persons who demanded the release of political prisoners that were to be taken to Cuba. The aircraft was stormed and the hijackers arrested. There were no victims and the hijacking lasted less than a day. June 9, 1973, a Varig cargo Boeing 707-327C registration PPVJL flying from Campinas to Rio de Janeiro Galeão while making an instrument approach to Rio de Janeiro Galeão had technical problems with the spoilers which eventually caused the aircraft to pitch down, descended fast, struck approach lights and ditch. All six occupants died. July 26, 1979, a Lufthansa cargo Boeing 707-330C registration DABUY operating flight 527 from Rio de Janeiro Galeão to Frankfurt via Dakar collided with a mountain five minutes after takeoff from Galeão. The crew of three died. December 12, 1985, an Air France Boeing 747-228B, registration FGCBC, arriving from Paris Charles de Gaulle with 273 passengers and crew, veered off the right side of runway 15 on landing, crossed a ditch and collided with a concrete wall in the cargo apron. There was a fire that totally destroyed the aircraft, but all occupants had been safely evacuated before that, with no victims or serious injuries. The accident was later traced to a ruptured power control cable in engine number one, which made the engine accelerate beyond maximum takeoff power, destabilizing the plane. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Access. The airport is located 20 kilometers (12 miles) north of downtown Rio de Janeiro. There are executive blue and ordinary yellow taxis available and bookable on company booths at arrival halls of both terminals. Transcarioca line of the BRT Integrated Public Transportation System links Terminals 1 and 2 with Terminal Alvarada in Barra da Chijuca with an intermediate stop at the Line 2 subway Vicente de Carvalho station, where one can access the entire subway system. At Alvarada one can transfer between the Transcarioca and Transost lines. The system operates 24 hours a day and tickets are sold in the BRT booths on the arrivals level. Premium Auto Onibus operates Executive Bus 2018, that runs half hourly between 5.30 and 23.30 hours from the airport to Central Bus Station, Rio de Janeiro downtown, Santos Dumont Airport, and the southern parts of the city along the shore, with final stop at Alvarada Bus Terminal in Barra da Chijuca. Bus 2918 follows a similar schedule to Alvarada Bus Terminal, but using a different and more direct route via the Linha Amarela Yellow Line Expressway. Bus 2101 is an express link between Galileo and Santos Dumont airports, and Bus 2145 is a normal city bus service to the Central Bus Station, Downtown, and Santos Dumont Airport. It runs every 20 minutes between 5.30 and 22.30 hours. Ticket counters for these bus services are located at the arrivals area of both terminals. Viacau 1001 operates the urban bus line 761D from the airport to Niteroi. Furthermore, the same company operates an executive service to Armasau dos Buzios four times a day. Departure is from the arrivals level of Terminal 1. Ordinary city buses 924 and 925 operate to the neighborhood of ILHA do Governador, and 915 to Bonsacesso. 
From both neighborhoods there are connections to the north and south sides of the city. See also List of airports in Brazil Galileo Air Force Base